and welcome in everybody glad you're with us game two of the National League Wild Card Series coming your way on the show it's the Reds taking on the All-Stars with my partner Chris Singleton I'm John Shambi and a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Absolutely, and it might seem like there's not as much pressure if you've already got a win in game one, but they're dying to close this series out right here and now. The last thing they want is to lose the momentum and go into a do-or-die game three. That's a lot of pressure. Sometimes it feels like every game in a three-game series is do-or-die. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get underway and on the hill in this one, number 15. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And now the shortstop, George Wright. And now the first base. One down, and now the big-time power threat, the Bambino Perez. He's a guy who does it all. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Back over to first, and yeah, they're keeping him close. Again to first, and no luck this time either. And another move, and a shocking development. He's safe again. To first one more time. Back in again. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Well, coming off of a blowout loss in the previous game, this lineup can't try to do too much. They've just got to stay within themselves, take each pitch, each at bat, one by one, and try to push runs across as often as possible. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. Two-two right right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's some real power at the plate. The Bambino Perez. He's 0 for 1. Throw over to first. And he's back in easily. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Number 40 drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and one left. Now to the bottom of the... Runner on at first with one gone. Stepping in the long ball threat, the Bambino Perez. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Runner takes off, pitches high. Throw to second and great jump. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Right. The runner at second with one away. And fouled off. Hey, let's get up there, huh? No one better. 
The 1 1. Hot shot to third. And there's two away. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the DH, the Bambino Perez. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Perez, a former All Star, 23 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. Kicks and deals. Base knock center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Jack Manning getting ready to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Transfer bobbled, and there's no throw. Runner at second. Nobody out. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Perez around third. Throw is offline and he scores. It's six to three. Back to back singles. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. This is not. Now Base is empty one away. Next is the designated hitter, the Bambino Perez. Swings and chases a low one there. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any now better down. than that. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot yeah. the ball up the middle. Didn't yeah. square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Safe at second with a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Tosses across the first, and they got him. So here's Brown at the plate, one for three. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning.